Welcome to the Grand Lotus Hotel. Will you... I'm sorry. You just look really familiar. I, um... <clears throat> Welcome to the Grand Lotus Hotel. Will you be staying with us? Lovely. Do you have a reservation? Great. I just need a last name. And how do you spell that? Mm-hmm. Looks like we've got a room for you. I'm obligated to offer a premium petal option. You just give us a phone number, and we'll send you promotional details occasionally. I always suggest that customers should get it, since you get a care package if you sign up. And you can always block the number. Are you interested? Splendid. I just need a phone number then. And... You're all signed up. When room service comes around, they'll leave a package on your bed. I hope you enjoy your stay at the Grand Lotus Hotel. Thank you for signing up to your premium petal member. Make sure to drive chocolate. It's a real knockout. Hello again, my most esteemed guest. It looks like you sampled for chocolate. I'm so happy you did. Honestly, I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to recast for squares all of that Xanax. But I see it worked out just fine. What was that? You're slurring your words, sweetie. <laughs> Darling, I can't make heads or tails out of that. Why don't you just lay down? It sounds like you're not doing well. Lay. Down. Now. Here, let me help you. Don't try to fight it, dear. Straight will make your heart beat faster. Just relax. I promise I'll take care of you. I'll try not to take that clear assault as an insult. Why don't I just hold you still while you fall asleep? Hmm? Quite a bit of fight in you, isn't there? I better know what I get rid of that. Shh. It's gonna be okay. Just calm down. It'll all make sense soon. Don't thrash too much. You wouldn't want to hurt yourself now, would you? I said, stop thrashing! Who's there? Oh, don't you remember me? It hasn't been that long. No, I don't think I'll step forward. Not yet. Just give me a moment to look at you. You look divine, dear. Even when you're being so... disobedient. You'll have to tell me what you do to make your hair sit like that. Such harsh words! Is this how you show your gratitude? Yes, you should be grateful. I made sure not to ding you the whole way to my trunk. It's not easy to be an unconscious human, you know. The balancing is all off. Don't speak! What I mean to say is, you already got your question. So now it's my turn. Why did you ghost me? You ghosted me? We matched two days ago. We had 19 wonderful messages. And then... Nothing. Nothing. Gone without a trace. Why? You need to answer my question before I touch another of yours. Yes, I insist. 
just didn't feel a spark. Hmm, so there's not much of a brain on those pretty shoulders. Oh well, I'm sure you'll learn quick. As for your question, no. I didn't kidnap you because you ghosted me. That'd be incredibly petty and unhinged. I'll admit, I was confused when you stopped messaging, but that was a very minuscule factor in your kidnapping. Well, I think we should be together. And I'm willing to make the first move. Simple as that. The way I see it, we have great chemistry, similar hobbies, and a viable physical attraction to each other. We'd be a fine enough match, but the real sign was me seeing you again. What are the chances that days after matching, you'd stay at the hotel I work at during my shift, and then I'd recognize you from the three pictures on your profile? Obviously, we're fated to be together. Yes, fate. Or divine intervention, chance, luck, whatever floats your boat. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to discuss universal musing someday. But for now, whatever cosmic power you think dictates love, that one. Crazy? <laughs> and it hurts, darling. And it's horribly inaccurate. From a certain point of view, you could call me deranged, but not crazy. I'm far too coherent for that. Sweetheart, I don't like being called names. I won't tolerate that again. Why don't we simply talk about this? We're both rational adults. We can have a conversation. Fine! Have it your way. Hold still for me, dear. There. That should calm you down a little. Ready to listen, sweetie? I'll take that stunned look as a yes. Now, here's how this is going to go. Tonight, we'll talk. Get to know each other. After a few days of that, we can go on a date, so to speak. We won't be leaving this room, but we'll do some sort of activity. Anything that we can do while you're still chained. Two dates after that, we can have our first kiss. Then, if you've behaved, we can give you full access to this room. The date activities can therefore become more rambunctious, and after six more dates, I'll take you upstairs, and we can... <laughs> well, let's call it... Spicy snuggling. There won't be any penetration, but a little grinding never hurt anyone. Two more dates so we can get into the real deal. After a few days of that, you can start getting household privileges. Eating dinner at the table, and watching the living room TV. Maybe even some bird watching if you really impress me. Finally, after about two months of domestication, I'll start leaving you unsupervised. First in ten minute increments, then hours, then one full day. If all the while you stay on your best behavior, you'll be deemed fully converted, and we can start up a somewhat normal life. How's that sound? Ew. <laughs> Looks like I may have overserved you with an injection. I want to do. Hmm. Alright. Well, this might have a few adverse side effects, but, um, I want to make sure you're actually hearing me. I try not to flinch. That should wake you right up. Let's just hope the adrenaline doesn't mess you up too much. Ooh, tremors! I suppose that's what happens when you give someone a tranquilizer and a kickstarter. Oh well, live and learn. Darling, I need you to get some coherent words out now. 
Did you understand our life plan? I'll let this aggression slide since the adrenal isn't doing you any favors. Why don't I explain your survival situation while you thrash? Okay. I'll get you three meals a day and plenty of water. I'll have to feed everything to you while your hands are bound up. So I hope you like soups. Or if you don't, then I suppose you can impress me enough to speed through the whole binding section of our relationship. Anyway, once you're untethered, I'll get you some cardio. I've got a dreadful down here with your name all over it. Now, bathrooms would have been a problem until I realized that I don't have to leave you alone. I can just march you straight in there to make sure you don't drown yourself in the sink or something. Once you're done, we'll just head straight back downstairs. Oh, and by the way, this will all happen at knife point, if that's not clear. We wouldn't want you getting any ideas about overpowering me. And while we're on that note, I'll be keeping a like shackled to ensure you don't get any ideas about running. And should you ever raise a hand against me, I know exactly which muscles to cut to render your arm limp. It'll heal, but not too quickly. So if you like holding things, I wouldn't make me mad twice. Now, as far as entertainment goes, I think I've got a DVD player around or something. But you don't need to worry yourself about that. I'll only be entertaining you if you've been good. Otherwise, it's blackout silence. I think that's everything. Did you catch all that? Still a little hopped up on the adrenaline, I see. That's fine enough. I'll be back with your first meal in a few hours. Darling, I know you're a smidge out of sorts right now, but you know how I feel about name-calling. I said clear boundaries, and I don't want them crossed. Sweetheart. Last chance. If you say another word, I promise you won't like the outcome. Fine. I've been more than patient. I'm leaving. If I come back, it'll be to punish you. Otherwise, I won't come back at all. I'll just let you starve and throw your body out. While you're alone, I want you to realize that this is how I felt when you ghosted me. Pretty words won't save you now, sweetie. Say hello to any rats for me. Ta-ta! Hey guys and gals, um, Zan here. Just wanted to say thank you for listening to this audio. Yada 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 yada. All the normal stuff that I say, you know what's going on. And, um... Yeah, yeah, interesting, very interesting. Uh, yeah, this one was kind of just a tad bit dark. Just a tad bit. Um, shout out to Splashius Pig for writing the script. Um, I hope I did a good enough, good enough job filling it. I don't really know, honestly. Like, I think I did a decent-ish job. Job, nice. Nice one, fucking idiot. Um, yeah, I think I did a decent job. I kind of put on the accent just because I felt like it. I don't really know if it fit, though. Like, it kind of did, but it didn't. But it kind of did, but it didn't. It, it, you know what I mean. Um, anyway. So... Yeah. Anyway, um, how are you guys doing today? You guys uh, have a good day, all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's been fine, I guess. I don't know. It's just, just been fine. Very mid. Very fucking mid. Um. Not too much going on, honestly. Just like little bits here and there. I, I don't really know. Work was kind of a. Well, work was a drag, like Jesus. 
The oh, artwork dragged. Work so fucking dragged. You don't even realize it, man. It dragged so fucking hard. Um, work dragged. And work was pretty boring as well. It was really quiet. Um, I was doing more training, and that was like fucking hell. It wasn't hell, but you know, it was, it was boring as shit. And, um, yeah. Just really, 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 really boring. Um, I'm not looking forward to this weekend at all, like, oh my god, I'm not looking forward to this weekend. I'm not looking forward to this weekend at all, because, oh, fuck's sake. I don't even know if I'll be able to record for, like, a few days, or, like, a, a week, at least, at least a fucking week, you know? A week? A whole week? What the fuck am I supposed to do, man? A week? A fucking week? Uh, but, um... Yeah, anyway, I, uh... Started, uh, Stranger Things yesterday. Well, I watched the first episode. It was pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I, I see what the hype is about. Kind of. <laughs> it is- it, it was good, yeah, it was really good. Really good. So, uh, yeah, really good, so far. Um, fucking what's her name? Nancy Hopper? Is that her name? Nancy Hooper? Hopper? Something like that? Like, uh, uh, one of the girls. Oh my god, she's so fucking hot, man. What the fuck? Dude, she's so fucking hot. It's unreal. Holy shit. She could fucking dumb the shit out of me and I wouldn't care. She could do fucking eight. I would pay to get fucking dumbed by her, man, honestly. A complete fucking goddess. Like, oh my god. It's un- She is unreal. Unfucking real, man. You know, unreal. Um. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um. Anyway. Anyway, words are hard. Um. Yeah, so. Because I don't really know what to say. Uh, let's just move on to question of the day. And, um. Today's question of the day is, um. Have you watched Stranger Things? I'm like, what do you think of it? Are you far into it? Like, yada yada yada, all that stuff. Are you far into Stranger Things or not? Or yeah, or no? Or do you like it? Do you not like it? I don't know. Um. Yeah, I mean, I kind of just answered the fucking question myself, so like. Yeah. I don't really know what to say. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, since I don't really know what to say, um, I am gonna go. So, we'll see you lovely, lovely guys and gals tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'll let, say tomorrow. I don't know about Thursday. I probably won't be recording on Thursday, so for you, lovely patrons of mine, you'll have to settle for nothing for a few days. Because I don't know how long my family are going to be here, and how long they're, you know, being fucking idiots for. Because there's fucking, like, four of them coming, and, uh, it's not fun. It is not fun. I'm really not fucking looking forward to it. Like, oh my god, dude, I'm so not fucking looking forward to it. Oh, I fucking hate my family. I don't, actually. I don't. I just hate seeing them. Not because I have, like, bad blood with them or anything, it's just, like, you know, um... Because, uh... I just want to be left alone, you know? I don't know if I'm just being a bitch because of that. I mean, I probably am, yeah, but, like, you know. Oh well, what do you want me to do? I don't fucking know. Um... Anyway, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna go for real seas now. I'll see you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna have a nice day. Yada yada yada. All that stuff. Bye bye. Love you more.